this video contains more examples on evaluating mathematical statements using matrices. Check the examples here in Numerical Solutions to see problems. The first example is to determine 4i less 4a minus a squared plus a cubed with matrix A. With four terms in the statement, we evaluate each and sum up with all four after, starting with the determination of 4i. I stands for identity matrix, which is a special kind of diagonal matrix, that is, with all elements in the diagonal having a value of 1. So 4i means 4 times of the identity matrix. By multiplying each term of the matrix by 4, we get 4i as 1 with the diagonal elements equal to 4, the rest of the elements being 0. The next term to determine is 4a. This is quite similar with the first term, only that the matrix to be multiplied by 4 is matrix A with varied elements. The procedure is similar with the multiplication of the scalar 4 among the elements. To itemize the values, element 1, 1 has 4 times negative 4, which is negative 16. Element 2, 1 has 4 times 2, making 8. Element 3, 1 has 4 by 4, which is 16. Element 1, 2 has 4 times negative 3, that is negative 12. Element 2, 2 has 4 times 1, which is 4. Element 3, 2 has 4 times negative 2, which makes negative 8. Element 1, 3 has 4 times negative 1, giving negative 4. Element 2, 3 has 4 times 1, making 4. Element 3, 3 has 4 times 4, which gives 16. Now 4a is completed. The third term requires the square of matrix A. When dealing with exponents of matrices, the procedure goes back to the multiplication of the matrix by itself. So we multiply matrix A by itself to take its square. With row 1 times column 1, we get negative 4 times negative 4 plus negative 3 times 2 plus 1 times negative 4 which gives 6. Row 2 with column 1 has 2 times negative 4 plus 1 times 2, then add 1 times 4 to get negative 2. Row 3 with column 1 has 4 times negative 4 plus negative 2 times 2 plus 4 times 4, making negative 4. Moving on to the next column, start with row 1 and column 2 to have negative 4 times negative 3 plus negative 3 times 1, plus negative 1 times negative 2, resulting to 11. Row 2 multiplied by column 2 computes 2 by negative 3, plus 1 times 1, plus 1 by negative 2 to have negative 7. Moving further down to row 3 multiplied by column 2, there is 4 times negative 3, plus negative 2 times 1, plus 4 times negative 2 to get negative 22. Next is back to row 1 with column 3. Negative 4 times negative 1 plus negative 3 times 1 plus negative 1 times 4 makes negative 3. Row 2 with column 3 has 2 times negative 1 plus 1 times 1 plus 1 times 4 results to 3. And row 3 with column 3 has 4 times negative 1 plus negative 2 times 1 plus 4 times 4 as 10. The last term is computed similarly as the term it precedes, so use matrix A squared times matrix A. Row 1 times column 1 has 6 times negative 4 plus 11 times 2 plus negative 3 times 4 gives negative 14. Row 2 with column 1 results to 6, 
when negative 2 times negative 4 is added to negative 7 times 2 plus 3 times 4. Row 3 with column 1 has negative 4 times negative 4 plus negative 22 times 2 plus 10 times 4 giving 12. Then back to row 1 with column 2. There are 6 times negative 3 with 11 times 1 and negative 3 times negative 2 giving negative 1. Down at the center of the matrix, row 2 with column 2 has negative 2 times negative 3 plus negative 7 times 1 plus 3 times negative 2 resulting to negative 7. Then row 3 with column 2 makes negative 30 from negative 4 times negative 3 plus negative 22 times 1, plus 10 times negative 2. Then back to row 1 with column 3 this time. It has 6 times negative 1, plus 11 times 1, plus negative 3 times 4, resulting to negative 7. Row 2 multiplied by column 3 has negative 2 times negative 1, plus negative 7 times 1, plus 3 times 4, making 7. Then the last element to complete the matrix comes from row 3, column 3. That is negative 4 times negative 1 plus negative 22 times 1 plus 10 and 4, which gives 22. Having evaluated the four terms, we can proceed with the statement. Elements 1, 1 has 4 minus negative 16 minus 6 plus 14, which is equal to 0. From row 2, column 1, the elements are 0, minus 8, minus negative 2, plus 6, which is 0. Elements at row 3, column 1, are 0, minus 16, minus negative 4, plus 12, resulting to 0 again. Row 1, column 2, works with the elements 0, minus negative 12, minus 11, plus negative 1, making 0. Row 2, column 2 has 4 minus 4 minus negative 7 plus negative 7 as 0. Elements of row 3, column 2 adds up as 0 minus negative 8 minus negative 22 plus negative 30, which becomes 0. Then for the last column, with row 1, we get 0 minus negative 4 minus negative 3 plus negative 7, which is again 0. With row 2, there are 0, minus 4, minus 3, plus 7, ending up with 0 once more. Then from the last row down, there are 4, minus 16, minus 10, plus 22, giving 0. So 4i minus 4a minus a squared plus a cubed is equal to 0. Example 2 requires the evaluation of variables x and y under the conditions of the matrix equation shown. Since we are more familiar with evaluating variables through equations, first is to identify the equations in the matrix. With row 1, column 1, we get y times 3 plus negative 4 times x plus negative 5 times 0. The expression can then be simplified as negative 4x plus 3y. With row 2 column 1, there is x times 3 plus 0 times x plus 2 times 0, simplified as 3x. Then with row 1 column 2, we get y times 0 plus negative 4 times negative 2 plus negative 5 times 1, which can be reduced to 3. And lastly, Row 2, column 2 as x times 0 plus 0 times negative 2 plus 2 times 1 simplified as 2. So the resulting matrix has the elements negative 4x plus 3y, 3, 3x, and 2. Now we create the solved matrix with the one provided on the equation and equate elements. That is, from elements 1, 1, there is negative 4x plus 3y as equated to 5. From elements 2, 1, there is 3x equated to y. Then elements 1, 2 make 3 as equal to 3, which is similar to elements 2, 2, where 2 is also equated to 2. Both of the last statements are true, 
so the equations are valid. Now take the equations from elements 1, 1 as equation 1, and also the equation from elements 2, 1 as equation 2. Through algebra, we can substitute equation 2 into equation 1, that is, negative 4x plus 3y is equal to 5. Plug y, making the equation negative 4x plus 3 times 3x is equal to 5. This is reduced to 5x is equal to 5, which makes x as equal to 1. Knowing x as 1, place this into the second equation. 3x is equal to y, making 3 times 1 is equal to y. Thus, y is equal to 3. A different problem that may arise from matrix operations is like the third example, which requires z values for the statement az cubed plus bz squared plus c times z is equal to d, where a, b, c, and d are matrices as shown. This is actually an easy problem where one should only generate equations for each index, such as those from index 1, 1, although not shown anymore. The variables are just like scalars multiplied to each element. Thus, elements 1, 1 complete the equation 2z cubed minus 3z squared minus 2z as equal to 0. With all terms carrying z, factor z out and have z times 2z squared minus 3z minus 2 is equal to 0. At this point, we have the first value of z as 0. For the remaining trinomial, one can work with factoring, although this example will be using the quadratic formula, where a is 2, b is negative 3, and c is negative 2. Place all variables respectively in the formula to have the second value of z using the plus as 2, and using the minus, the third z value is negative 1 half. For elements 1, 2, this statement becomes 1z cubed minus 0z squared minus 4z as equal to 0. Just the same as the previous case, all terms have z, which means we can take out z and have z times z squared minus 4. Note that the binomial is actually the difference of two squares, which can be expanded as z plus 2 and z minus 2. So we can finally have the value of z1 as 0, z2 as negative 2, and z3 as 2. The next set of elements are those from the index 2, 1, where the statement becomes 1z cubed minus 2z squared plus 0z as equal to 0. With only two terms in the expression, we can factor out z squared, making the equation z squared times the quantity of z minus 2 as equal to 0. Then, we can take the value of z1 as 0, z2 also 0, and z3 as 2. The last set of elements comes from index 2, 2. The statement from these elements is 2z cubed minus 5z squared plus 2z as equal to 0. Take out z from each term and get z times 2z squared minus 5z plus 2 and get z1 as 0. The binomial will be factored using quadratic formula, where a is 2, b is negative 5, and c is 2. So computing the plus of the formula, z2 is 2. The minus of the formula gives z3 as 1 half. Thank you.